talked about kind of Super Bowl or bust. What's it feel like coming out of that one? Uh, I mean, it feels bad. Um, obviously, you don't really plan for moments like this. Um, kind of walking around the locker room, gave everybody a hug, told them I love them, and I appreciate all the effort day in and day out, you know, to get to this point. But it definitely sucks right now. Um, it's kind of hard to reflect on, you know, kind of everything. But, you know, she didn't play well enough to win the ball game. And, um, you know, just, you know, kind of just appreciative of, you know, the effort today from from all phases. Obviously, it wasn't good enough, but at the end of the day, um, appreciate all the guys. But KB, knowing how you guys played defensively, like a, a postseason record tying nine sacks, um, the, the, the defensive effort, does that kind of make this one harder to swallow, knowing that, you know, you guys kind of put it all out there? Nah, I mean, it, it makes it hard to swallow because we lost. Um, regardless of how many sacks we got, or, you know, how many plays the defense have made uh, in certain critical situations, we didn't make the play. And um, that's the type of things that I look at. You know, I missed the tackle, let Jamar Chase get out of there, and I'm beating myself up about that. I'm not necessarily concerned about, you know, what the offense does. And, you know, obviously, you know, we can't turn the ball over, but we could have got more turnovers as well, you know what I'm saying, especially early in the game. So, you know, it's a lot of different things like that. But I definitely um, – I'm not going to let anything kind of divide the team, even though obviously the season's over with. Um, and I told Ryan that too, um, that I appreciate him and, and all the work that he's put in this year and the plays that he's made for us. And, you know, they got some, they made some plays, you know, some unfortunate plays. But at the end of the day, you know, we're going to stick together as a family. What's the finality like, Kevin, when you know this team won't be the same moving forward? And is it almost a shock to the system in some ways that it's over? Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's the toughest part about this business, um, especially, you know, some teams that know they're not going to the playoffs. They're kind of already making plans, preparing themselves. But when you're in a situation like this, um, nobody plans to lose. Nobody plans to say goodbye and things like that. But that's something I made a, a, a conscious effort when I was just in the locker room. Most of the guys that may be free agents, who knows what's going to happen next year. You know, a lot of things can happen from here to next year. So I just told them that I love them and I appreciate everybody. Jim Brown mentioned how much talent this team has. Is it harder to swallow this ending because of all the talent you have and the, the high potential and the bar that was set? Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> we felt like this was our year. We felt like it was the year we was going to put it all together and go win a Super Bowl, but, you know, it didn't happen that way. So, um, it, it, like I said, it, it's hard to kind of, you know, put everything in perspective right now. But at the end of the day, um, just grateful. Just grateful for the guys, grateful for you know, the opportunity to even play with these guys. You know, some of the guys I won't be able to play play with again, so just appreciative. Well, Kevin. Hurt frustrated you more that everything was set up for you guys as the number one seed to take care of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, the number one seed, take care of it. Yeah, I mean, number one seed, six seed, you know, don't really matter because at the end of the day, uh, once you have to go out in the field, you got to go out there and win games regardless if you get a first round buy or not. Um, but we obviously felt that having the first round by guys were rested up. Uh, we just didn't execute well enough to win the ball game. So uh, it hurts either way it goes. That's, I guess that's my, my point. Hey, but you mentioned the, the words that you had with, with Ryan, um, you know, after the game. I mean, just, you know, a lot of people just look at the, the interceptions he had and, and point a lot of the criticism at him. I guess what can you say about what he's meant to this team as, as a leader? I mean, you think about, you know, you can look at, the stats are interceptions and things like that. But the past three years he's been here, um, when you look at all-time Titan quarterbacks and things like that, he's right up there at the top. So obviously he's meant a lot to this team, uh, meant a lot to the success, and he's been a huge part of the success that we've had over the past few years. So understandably, knows he's you know, beating himself up about the interceptions. I mean, that's, that's what comes with being a leader, comes with being a quarterback. Uh, I missed one tackle, and I feel like I had a terrible game. And that's just how it goes, I mean. Um, but. Like I said, he's meant a lot to my family. You know, obviously, I know his family, his wife, meant a lot to my family, means a lot to this team and a lot to this 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 community. So, um, like I said, I, I told him, don't beat yourself up about it. These things happen, and uh, I know for a fact he'll come back next year uh, stronger than ever. You know, trying to try to make another run at this thing. In general, Kevin, I mean, you get nine sacks, you hold Cincinnati, a high-scoring team to 19 points. Consider uh, basically a pretty good you know performance defensively overall. Yeah, I mean. Honestly, y'all should have the whole front four up here instead of me. I mean, those guys played, I mean, phenomenal. Best I've ever seen. I've said it a few weeks ago. It's the best front four in the league. And, you know, obviously, you know, Harris about to be a free agent and things like that. And I'm hoping and praying that we can get him back because if we can have those guys rushing like they was today and stopping the run and 
we can have everybody dropping in coverage and making plays on the back end. Uh, I mean, I think this defense can really take the next step, obviously, uh, trying to be the number one defense in the league. How confident when you guys got that last stop, got the ball back to the offense? How confident were you it was game over at that point? They're putting points on the board. Yeah, I mean, we've seen it. Numerous times it happened in the San Fran game. We were sitting on the sideline. Obviously, we're still going over different things. If we had to go back out there for the two minute drill, but I'm sitting on the sideline like we're about to win the game. You know, Tannehill's about to drive the entire offense down the field. We might kick a field goal. We might score a touchdown. But you know, sometimes these things don't happen, and um, you know, it is what it is. But uh, I had full confidence that we can go score and win the game.